Greetings to you all. Grade 10, solid geometry. Now, let's assume that you are given a pyramid which is inclined and that would be what I'm talking about. And let's make it a square. The pyramid is inclined at 45 degree angle. Right. Now, what they will normally do is they will give you this ox view or a helping view in that position. So, now they say get the front view at that angle and they ask you to draw the top view then they ask you to draw either the left view or the right view now the question can come up either asking for the left or for the right but this is what they give you they give the distance there. Now, I want us to think carefully of the easiest way to find the answer. What we learned is that this has been inclined at this particular corner. Now, it means this can sit onto XY. So we bring it back, basically. So it means I will have to draw the top view here. So I can simply bring this ox view down here by simply drawing it, constructing it light first, all right, before I move to the front view. So in other words, I don't even use that ox view. That ox view will help me get the dimensions of the drawing. That's all that's going to help me. But others will, will draw it over there and then get that front view. That is also okay. But I'm saying this way it works faster because I'm st I still need to project my top view here. So without having this, it doesn't work as fast as I want it to be. I will then take you through this and show you why I prefer to use that method. Okay. Now then. I've constructed the square here. I've got numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. The square at the moment is light. It cannot be dark because there's still a lot of work that needs to be done on this view. Now, what I will need to do is, now I'm going to say, right, this is number 1. Now, at number 1, this is where the base sits on X, Y. This is where my base sits on x y so this is number one so i will have number two there then i'll have number three there remember this comes two and uh, and four what i then do is on number one draw construct a line at 45 degrees if i've been told that it is inclined at 45 degrees then i'm going to use my compasses place it on one i'll open it to three now i am tilting this drawing here this front view by swinging three and we also swing two and four because that's what will happen swing two and four uh, now, because this is a pyramid, I will take the center, take the center, 45 degrees. Remember, the rule is that if this is 45 degrees, I will need to subtract from 90 to get to know that angle. Now, I get this angle to be 90 degrees. Therefore, that line there must be at 45 degrees. Now, let us assume that our height of this is 
70 millimeters. So I mark off 70 over there. Then I draw from one, goes to my apex. Draw from three, goes to my apex. One and rather two and four to the apex. Now I'm drawing it dark. And last one here is this base here. So now then, I have my base. So let me label this. This is A, short for apex. This now is my number two and four. It has moved up. And this is my number three. Both have moved up. Now, I'm going to use the rule where I say horizontal and vertical. So this would be vertical that will be horizontal so in order to find this point i need to do constructions three and three now look at three it's moving horizontally so i need to bring the three here vertically so what does it say now i have number three that's new number three right now i also need now to look at two and four have i brought four and two horizontally no then i project number four and i project number two All right then vertically i need to project number two and number four now these are now on diff in different position that's number four and this is number two why is that so because the front view has been tilted did i move number one no it's been inclined at point one that's why it's getting tilted so i don't do anything now because this is a pyramid i have an apex here this is my apex to give me that a here so did i bring a horizontally yes now i need to bring a from the front view vertically now this is where i find point a put the label there a why label the drawing it makes it easy for you to understand now based on the fact that we're looking at it um, in terms of first angle orthographic projection therefore it says this would be the direction for you in order to get your top view that's the direction right so now always remember this has been tilted towards the right hand side so i'm going to join now light one my base one up to number two one light to number two two goes to number three three goes to number four Everything is still light. Four goes back to number one. Okay. Now, what I notice here on the front view is that three goes to A, four goes to A, two goes to A, one goes to A. So same thing I need to do here. Starting from four, outside here, four will need to go to A. That's done. And... 3 goes to A, 1 goes to A, as well as 2 goes to A. So, what you must understand is that the outside part of the base will be dark. The outside part is 2, 3, 3, 4. Because this is the direction which I'm looking at. So, I will see number 3 to A number three to a that you shall see three to a becomes dark this is three to a so we need to draw that dark because we can see that then we move at with the base from three to two we can see that part then from three to four we can see that part 
at this direction again, we are able to see 2 going to A, 4 going to A. So I'm going to draw from 4 to A. I do see that from 2 to A. I can see that. What it says then is this is the outside part that your shell outside part i cannot see anything on the other side which will be one four one two which is my base now from one to two everything that we cannot see we draw it at hidden detail i cannot see that number four to one i cannot see that then i draw hidden detail now that is my top view of this square pyramid. Thank you.